So, do you set goals for your future? Look, some people set financial goals and they're really important, but I found that when I'm talking to a lot of clients, a lot of people miss out on doing lifestyle goals. Our whole key thing here at Hero Property is to build the lifestyle that you want through property investing. And I just thought I'd jump on and explain a little bit about that because I think a lot of people understand financial goals, yep, how much do I want to be earning? How much do I want to be saving in a year, in five years? What do you do? Do you do a year, six months? You do two years? Here at Hera, we map out to 20 years, okay? 20 years is really key to expand the mind, to focus on what that could really look like, you know, way out into the future. And we can call that in to be, be, be sooner. Now, financial goals aren't really uh, beneficial unless you can link them to a lifestyle goal and these are this is really important for manifesting and and creating the lifestyle you want so what I start with a lot of my clients is working on what your lifestyle goal is for the first year so if you're buying investment property at the end of that first year you've got a fair bit of equity you've got a tenant paying for the rent and paying for the mortgage and everything what's that one lifestyle goal that you want to hit kick off the goal one of our clients they want a trip overseas. That's a fantastic goal to have. You know, investing in property and saving, perfect. Then what happens in five years time when you've got a portfolio of properties, what is that gonna give you, you in terms of lifestyle? Is that, you know, one day on the golf field per week? Is that, you know, a big four week holiday? What does that look like? Then 10 years. 10 years is that sort of benchmark that we're looking at. You know, you'll be maybe financially free. So, what does your lifestyle look like there? And make those into goals, it's really cool. And then once you've got that, that 15, that 20 year lifestyle goal can be quite hard. And I look, I suggest you spend anywhere between, you know, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, really nailing that. Once you've got those ones in there, some people in 20 years have got grandkids. So that's a really good 20 year goal, is being able to spend as much time as you want with them and spend as much money on them as you want. As, you know, as me, as a grandparent, I'd love to do that as well. So once you've got your lifestyle goals, then we look at your finance goals. The finance goals should map to the lifestyle goals as, as you know, year one, what do you want to achieve? This is how much money we need to achieve. Year three, five, this is what it looks like. This is how much money we need to, to do. So once you've got those mapped out, I, I suggest you print those out, you put them on your wall in the back of your cupboard so you can see these, but also put something in your diary for three in three months time or maybe for now maybe just before christmas review those lifestyle goals see what's changed see what you've caught been able to call in sooner okay and this can really happen we can see them accelerating so some of those 10 year goals could actually become five year goals because you're focused on them and you're calling them in so i hope that's really helped this annual roadmap assessment that we look at every three months with our clients and when i meet with them six monthly we pull it out we have a look at where they're at see if we change course correction, and it really helps solidify your future, look at, you know, and, and it creates comfort and, and ease that it's already mapped out and you don't have to keep it up here. Your subconscious is working on it and so are we. So I hope that's helped. If you know somebody who wants that clarity and feeling good and comfortable with where their future is going to be, give the, get them to give me a shout. I'm happy to talk to them. Post a comment here or share it. Um, I'd love to talk to them or you if you need it as well. Thank you.